Let's see how dynamic you can kind of make this trick. Let's go parallel. We're gonna do another trick tutorial. Um, basically what I'm gonna do today is kind of a slide slide where we're going in a sliding motion sideways. And it's a pretty cool trick that um, you kind of incorporate to like moving around an object which I'll show you, but you're moving sideways across an object and it really has to do with thrust control. Um, that's really the big key to this trick. So I'm gonna run through kind of the few ba a few basics of it. Um, and then hopefully by the end of the video, uh, I kind of show you how to use it in a combination type of style. So here we go. Oh, this feels smooth okay so what is a side slide so let's just go through it okay so slide side is let's just use this object here it's essentially you're just sliding like this and you're going like sideways sure. But another way you can do it is you're basically like just pushing it like a juicy flick. So we want to get parallel to the object. And we just kind of keep the object in frame. So let's just go through kind of the simple basics of how to do this trick. So the first thing you want to do is obviously set yourself up with an object that you want to keep in frame. So the first thing I would do is basically, since this is a more of a, a parallel slide, um, you want to be have your quad parallel so that so the motors and the thrust are going to be towards the object So here we go. So this is object Right And I'm not hitting throttle just yet. I'm lining myself up parallel to the object So let's just do this again And then what you want to do is that when you're doing that you want to use your pitch axis to level yourself off and keep the object rotating in frame. And this is where a lot of confusion happens because you would think it would be roll. But again, you're not rolling because you're sideways. You have to, you have to use the pitch access to make, a, um, to make that type of motion. So here we go. We're gonna line ourselves up, right? Parallel. And then we're gonna slowly pitch um, forward. And that kind of keeps the object in frame. So here we go side and we're pitching forward and we're trying to keep the object in frame slowly okay so that's kind of the first little tips that you got to for this trick the second thing i would do is that not only do you want to keep the object in frame but again now what we want to do is make a sharp movement um, with a blip so here we go so keep all that in mind as we do this trick. So we're gonna go into it, right? Parallel, use the pitch axis, and right there is where we're gonna kind of start applying throttle or blipping it. So here we go. Yep, that's it right there. And I blipped it, and I kept the object in frame. And it's really like, it's just, I don't know, it's a really like cinematic shot and a freestyle acro shot. Just because it's just so, such a dynamic little trick. See, I just mix it up there with another flip, but let's just go through it again. All right, so parallel, pitch, apply throttle, and a blip, and we're out of there. And that's basically it. I mean, it's it's pretty simple uh, movement. Let's just I don't know, play with it a little, play with it a little bit more. Let's see how dynamic you can kind of make this tray. Let's go parallel. I gotta bring it back because. Battery's about to die. But it's a pretty sick trick. Um, you could use it in a cinematic category, an acro category. But essentially, that's what it is. It's basically you're, you're keeping the shot in frame. Um, you're sliding sideways to capture it. Again, it's not the roll axis you're using. It's going to be the pitch axis because you're sideways. So just keep all those tips in mind. 
and just keep practicing it because it does kind of get your mind thinking about what axis you're on, how much throttle you got to apply and all that. So um, hopefully that's a sick video. And if you like these videos, let me know in the comments and all that. And uh, yeah, see you guys next one. Peace. Don't speak my mind enough from Jackie pushing on me, pushing on me, boundaries.